everyone had a really good time. I know over here at Xena, we were doing a lot of side betting on the uh, quad stream view, and I lost. I'm a dollar short today because Peko. I believe me, Peko. Either way, we are going finally into our first set of top 24. Jay Dizzle, Australia's finest, and of course, Fawn, one of New York's finest as well. So we're going to start off on small battlefield. Duck Hunt already coming right out the uh, right out from the gate. And Jay Dizzle does not care. He is absolutely going to do an amazing job of keeping her off of the stage. And man, 90% on Fawn right now. And Jay Dizzle is only continuing off of the conversion, off of the, uh, the bomb right there. Hello. The boomer actually, the hello. Nice, nice work from Jay and a zero to death as well, finishing right off Fawn. A whole stock deficit with nothing on Jake Dizzle as well. Amazing start for him. And let's see what uh, what Fawn can do now to finally get some lead on uh, on her side of the game. All right, some can action as well. I love that Fawn is actually like not not opting to use any of her secondaries against uh, established player like Jake Dizzle, who actually won first place at last Xeno. Um, and I'm pretty sure Fawn runs wants that run back with Australia. So here we go. Dizzle once again. Up oh, there's a can missing the conversion off of the can. Unfortunately, there's that clay vision as well, and we're contesting that with our own uh, to push it out being the boomerang. Lots of patience from uh, from Fawn to avoid his fire arrows and avoid all the projectiles that JJ is, is uh, trying to not onto her. There's that up air, double up air, not connecting their back air into the the can, and nearly avoiding the can, but getting the dash attack in its favor. No spike. I'm sorry, no tech against the stage. There is that second stop from Deja's Oaks. All right, here we go. Stay, uh, stay, uh, up B, grounded up B. Okay. Honestly, lots of this part of this game is going to be a lot of projectile play and just pressure from each other on the side, on like the, at the mid range play um, for both characters, Young Link and Duck Hunt. But right now, I think that Fawn is finally getting into the group of things, getting the, uh, the setups with the, with the, um, with the gunman as well. Ooh, excellent, uh, excellent approach from Jay Dizzle to uh, on shield. Ooh, yeah, kind of just a little bit too much, uh, too much patient on Fawn's part. Of their game punished for just kind of staying there for a little too long. Jay Dizzle is not aware of stationary can. It will not move like that. I believe if Fawn hits it a certain way, there's a you know can just stay stationary for a very long time. Does not really you know get knocked back like it usually does. Trying to, go for, trying to offer the up smash, but thankfully Kelly Pigeon coming in to interrupt Jay Dizzle's uh, approach on Fawn. This is only an even game. We just had a zero death early, but now we have a bad gear taking that second stock from Jay Dizzle, and now Fawn's looking in a very, very nice spot. Uh, with Rage active, just have to be really careful with Link's, you know, Link's up airs, Link's back airs, stationary up B, lots of kill potential. The uh, Kelly Pigeon interrupting the pogo stick of the down air right there. And now Fawn is just farming some percentage on uh, on Jay Dizzle as much as she can before eventually Jay Dizzle may be able to approach the situation and take this second stock from her, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. Excellent shield right through the uh, the fair right the nair right there. This is huge percentage that Fawn is taking extra credit all, all the way up the wall, almost 80, 92 percent right now. Fawn has to carry out this momentum off and off into the air. All right, I think to get some more safe space, but there is of course that down air coming in from uh, from Jake Dizzle. But 150% is really scary. To look at it, especially when you have Clay Pigeon as active, and the roll through the Clay Pigeon was so good. There is the uh, stationary LP into the up air as well. Oh, pairing up your own can that was really good, and there is the connection from the Clay Pigeon into back air. Fawn taking a sigh of relief, and I'm taking a sigh of relief because I finally have a co-commentator. Let's go, Mr. Booty himself. How you doing, Bestie? I am doing all right. How about you? I'm all right. How's, I... your, how's your bracket on the, the interbracket? Hey, no, interbracket. Bro, put the headset on. <laughs> put the headset on. I will. I'm right now. Hold on. We got to get the look ready. The look ready? Look is all ready? Good, good, good. Yes. All right. Headphones are on. Booty has he hoodie on as well. And I did not enter bracket today. You got me. Booty, you know me. Yeah, but I mean, you play Hero. You know, Hero is an easy character to play with. No, he's not. <laughs> uh, I don't want to hear that. He's not. He's not. So, we got Jay Dizzle, which is an yep. Australian player. And then we got Fawn, which is uh, New York City's premier lo yep. local player. So, And <laughs> she's currently up one. We're going over to Kalos now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, I side bet this match. I'm not going to say what you I said side bet all. this I'm match. not saying anything. <laughs> Uh, this oh, is, this no. is like a funny matchup because it's just a, a fight a projectile. Like, who's going to be able to get in mm -hmm. further? Who's going to be able to play defensive? As we were saying early in the first game, lots of mid-range play where they were just throwing out Clay Pigeon, bang, Boomerang, Fire Arrow, everything. In terms of, like, Clay Pigeon, actually, like, if you know, like, I think it comes to, like, frame 18 or 19, the, if you throw it out, it's out frame 1. Mm -hmm. Just like can. 
So, like, Fawn does that a lot, where, like, during combos, she'll mash it so she can just get it out. Yeah, because frame and, one. Exactly. Any, any gap, it's, it's there. And it's, it's great. Exactly. And it works out very well, because then it's like a reversal thing. She yep. can combo off of that, that clay pigeon. But, Absolutely. Um, You're completely right. And, oof. All right, a little, little more of an even game, just so you know, in the first, I'm sure you saw, first game, zero death first on game, Gages yeah, was definitely. kind of crazy. And she made it straight back yep. in one game one, so. Kudos to her, but I'm trying to make money. But. I'm trying to make money. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to make money. Well, not, not me, you got it. I'm, I'm negative one. I think, uh, also, I think Jay Dizzle kind of adapted really fast. Like, he's now, like, kind of playing around the can yes. a lot more. And he's shooting boomerang at it. I mean, I guess he just wants to get rid of it faster. He's trying to get rid of it, but I believe Fawn once told me about like tech about like the uh, the can where if it's stationary can, it, as much as you hit it, it will not just like it will not move. Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what triggers that interaction though, but projectiles. Oh really? Oh thank you. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, it makes sense because I know it, like he's throwing boomer and arrows nothing's and happening to happening, it. Yeah. 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 Oof! That was just a, a shield pressure like crazy. You saw that mm -hmm. boomerang arrow, and then he came in with quarter, taking down Fawn's first stock. And yeah, Buffon threatening this can with the. Uh, yep, there it goes. Th threatening can in order to kind of stuff out Jay Dizzle's reaction time or reaction in, in general. Not getting the back that she was looking for, but at least getting the Nair to interrupt the recovery. And don't save him. There you go. That was great edge guarding. Yeah, mm -hmm. like she used can to get the tether. And once tether was gone, once they use tether off stage once, like yep. it, it reduces the range. Oh, I mean, it's harder to use it again. So, you know, Fawn was just obliter obliterating him off stage, so. Yeah, but now we're once again at that mid-range projectile play where neither character, neither player really wants to approach one other unless they have a clear view of a clear opportunity to actually approach with a, you know, a nice string, um, lots of percentage as well. Right, and it's funny because like, like these characters traditionally can play more campier, but they're both playing very aggressive. So this is, this is a fun match to really watch. I love to be it. honest, yeah. I love it because you can absolutely just mix a little bit of campy play, kind of like right now with. Pure aggression, which I think Jay Dizzle is starting to approach that aggression part of his gameplay right there. That was good on Fawn also not jumping. Jay Dizzle was looking for a jump out of shield. Yep. But she spot dodged instead of jumping, which is good. She didn't get hit by the, the fair. Alright, Fawn now off stage trying to use Can to contest a safe recovery option, but oh. nice that's that, that track from Jay Dizzle. That's a crazy right LB. That avoided both <laughs> bombs coming towards her. That's insane. And like, I, it's just like, yeah, Fawn's very good at mixing up her recovery. Like, every, t every time I try to edge guard her, like, she's. Throwing out can, doing something just to like, you know, mess with you. Yep. So, in that regard, I think she's fine. But right now, again, it's back to even this kind of thing. Oh, just right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. To Young Link's Good Nair is, is incredibly fast. Like, his fair has very low end lag, so then he went straight into Nair, which is. And Sweet Spot Nair is very strong. Like, you saw I killed that 120. And, and on then, the platform as well. Like, exactly. It was yeah. just over. But there's a second stock finally from a Jesus. We have an even game now. Possibly Jesus. Jay Dizzle's winner stock if Fawn is able to continue the momentum she has from the first game into now. Double up air? Nope, not gonna double dip this time. We're gonna do a clay pigeon. Try and get the back air, but can would be flying in for us instead. I just doing a little bit a little yeah, bit pressure. This, this is battles. yeah, like no, yeah, Fawn's just controlling stage yeah. like crazy right now. Like she's using the clay pigeon, using the bombs, and just not allowing him to really remain on stage and he has to jump. And she's always ready with up airing, like covering all your range. But mm -hmm. this is where Tooling Young Link also shines, is that like he has really good damage output for whatever reason. <laughs> so every now like he could possibly take this if he could get her off stage. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's like she's at, she's at the ledge, but he's not doing that much pressure. Which is I think he's uh, he's scared of the can. Yeah, coming yeah, in, yeah. You, you, like I mean, he's playing it smart. Like you want to avoid that can, so mm -hmm. you don't end up like taking like twenty and then you off stage and dying for yeah, exactly. It's because he, he doesn't understand where can's going, and Fawn does because she's controlling most of the movement of it. Ooh, good jump. That was a good jump. Right over can. Once again, oh! can on. Just like that? Oh yes, <laughs> absolutely. You lost money, didn't you? Yeah, that was you money, lost but money. That, 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 that was a good set. That, that was, was a good match. That was a great match. set. Uh, right? that, was, that was a great set, yeah. Did, 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 did at least adapt during the situation, but I think he was just kind of sucking it. It sucked right here. Look, jumps onto the platform to avoid the first instance of can, and then jumps back in. And it's funny, it's like, it's like I'm watching this match, like, like she's at like uh, zero, he's at 110, and then all of a sudden Young Link gets in and he's dishing out like 70% damage, and then now the matchup is, is back to even. So mm -hmm. there's just a, like there in terms of like punish game and like aggression is very even it even ish. Yeah. So like this is like literally it's like watching a mirror match honestly. Is wh whoever gets like the first hit is probably gonna win this the the match.
Yeah, that was insane. Yeah, but yeah, again, I think also she was baiting. She was baiting him to jump off that platform. Oh yeah. Because if yeah. you stayed there, she was gonna she was gonna up smash you. If you didn't stay there, uh, Cam was going to come for you. And if you jumped off, there's a gunman right there to it's, stun you. Yeah, it's like Snake you, with you, less traps. You just exactly. gotta you're gonna get hit by something. Yeah. Can't do anything about that. Damn. I, at that point, it's just better to take like the weakest hit compared yep. to like just trying to avoid it because then you might get hit by something really strong. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Duck Hunt's back air, which is strong too. Duck Hunt's up air is frame six too. So like this character's bored.